Hi, I'm Brian Ponstein, a chairman of the TOC, joined here with Dan Bigelow. We're here at PowerGen uh, in Orlando, Florida, which by the way, it's a little hot here. I'm from Minnesota. It's definitely a whole lot more reasonable there. It's freezing last night. Oh, whatever. Got down to like 60. Minus 60, we can talk. Uh, so we're going to go to the showroom floor and hear from some of our EXIM members what they expect to see out of the TOC. And hopefully inspire some of you to pitch in, come along with us so that you can be up here sharing your area of expertise. So let's go down to Power Gen, all right? Let's get to the show, man. I want a pretzel. Hey, Brian. First, uh, thanks. Thanks for even asking. Um, and thanks for actually putting together this TOC committee. What's really complicated and, and hard for us to understand is just the whole uh, regulatory framework. Even if it's a, a small presentation that could help us navigate that landscape, that would be great. I think I'd like to uh, hear a little bit more on cogeneration on CHP. We have a lot of gas availability in our country now, um, probably due to fracking, horizontal drilling. So we have an abundance. Pricing is stable. Looks like it'll be stable for a long time. I think there's good opportunity in CHP. Talk to is the ability for gen sets to multiple parallel, where instead of just taking three or four gen sets and bringing them together online, we're talking about 30 to 100 gen sets, in, in some cases using close before excitation as well. So I think that's a very valid topic to cover. Yes, I would look at UL 1008. It's changed a lot over the last uh, few, couple of years especially. And it's a technical topic that requires a rather in-depth discussion in order to understand and implement correctly. What we're interested in is energy efficiency. About diesel fuel separation, water separation. Uh, let's, let's look at how everybody's you know, doing their noise attenuation re recordings and, and, and let, let's commonize that so we're all comparing apples and apples. Uh, we get all kinds of different questions from people, from regulators, from tank owners, everything from w what is an above ground tank to underground tanks. We get questions about compatibility, what can I store, why do I see this funky stuff growing inside my tank. We would like to thank all of the members that stopped by the exit booth and participated. We greatly appreciate you taking the time to come and talk to us about your views and your insights. Awesome. Thanks. You're awesome. Love you guys. We really appreciate you taking the time to share your thoughts. So check out the comments below, list out what you want to hear, because then subscribe so that uh, you can keep up to date with what we're, wow, I'm talking way too much. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, put those ideas below if there's additional topics and we'll get back to you and we will film all of these topics and get back to you at some point in time. You're talking too much too. I subscribe. I'm Jalapeno one? Jalapeno pretzel. Ah. I'm so excited. The pretzel. Okay, now walk away.